so before we start this video um a couple people asked like how am i tracking my target without having any kind of facial tracking um or anything like that i'm actually going to be trying out a webcam method to see if that works but without that um the thing i use is called padlocking which is a pilot driver turret automatically enable target padlock that basically means when you target um an enemy in your ship you'll basically follow where it is until it gets like directly behind you um with basically your character's head so it's like it's a nice budget face tracker i guess you can call it is that way you can uh, like keep um eyes on your target but uh i found that in the game settings i had to look for it again but it's in the game settings uh if you scroll all the way down you see the uh, g-force induced head movement it's literally the one right above it and i'm literally at the bottom of the uh see they go all the way to the bottom G it's literally the top one if you scroll all the way down so um i'm just gonna toggle that on i actually have to redo all my settings because i had to delete the game and reinstall it they actually get it to freaking launch but um but yeah so with that on um your character will always track a target when it comes into view that's a great thing i i'm I feel like I'm able to stay on target with it a little bit more than um, I would without it. So to set a toggle for it, you go to key bindings, advanced controls, uh, customization, and I believe it is under targeting, vehicles targeting. And then all the way down to the bottom, we should see uh, enable disabled target padlock uh, toggle hold. I actually never had that toggle. I just always had it on, you know. But I think I'm gonna set a toggle for it. So I think I'm going to put it on my print screen button. That way I can toggle it on and off. Yeah, I'm putting it on a uh, a weird button. I might find a different button for that later. But that, I know that's a button I'm not using for anything. So. That way you'll be able to toggle it on and off. And uh, that way if a target gets behind you and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I can't see. I think you guys have seen that in a couple of my videos. Oh, I can't see. And I'll just toggle it off. All of a sudden you'll snap forward. So I just figured I'd do a little quick tutorial before uh, I start this video. And uh, yeah, so hope this I uh, hope this is helpful. And I will see you guys in the verse. What's going on, YouTube? It's One Out Supreme again. And welcome back to some more star citizen before we start two things i want to cover um the pvp event as of right now might have to be rescheduled i start a new job in a couple days and i think i might have to work saturday um so uh i'll know by by thursday which will be uh september 1st um also, I have been trouble, been having trouble logging in. Today, I think it might have been um, a hot fix that the servers were a little wonky a little bit. But uh, yesterday, I also had trouble logging in. So, um, in case that does happen, I still want to bring you guys some content, uh, regardless of what it is. So, um, let me know in the comments down below what other games you guys are interested in that's uh, other than Star Citizen. And... Um, well, maybe I'll do like a let's play or uh, try out some other games and see how that goes. But um, I do what, I just want to keep making content. I just love doing it. And uh, like I enjoyed doing my let's plays before I started playing Star Citizen too. So uh, if you guys want to see uh, see stuff like that, just let me know what kind of games you guys are into. And I'll uh, either I'll do a let's play or I'll explore a different game or whatever. Um, and that won't that won't like take priority over star citizen either it's just like a good backup plan like if i can't get in to star citizen for whatever reason like the servers just aren't working or the game's just too buggy and i can't get anything done kind of thing so it would be like a good secondary thing to uh keep bringing content to you guys and um uh, yeah that's pretty much it so um as you can see we are back in the constellation and drama on a <laughs> 
Constellation Andromeda. I'm thinking faster than I'm speaking. <laughs> um, there's no difference from my last video on this Connie. I still got the size 5 laser cannons. Still got the size 4 laser cannons on it. Everything else is still stock. I just figured... Um, I want to practice with the Connie. So I want to see if I can't get these ERTs done faster or at least get better at not flying the thing like a damn light fighter. <laughs> but did you guys know that Connie is a light fighter? <laughs> but um, no, I need I need to get better at flying it like it should be flown instead of trying to fly it like a damn light fighter. So I just wanted to make a video, practice with the Connie because I do want to use this ship to grind out ERTs, hopefully make money a little bit faster. So basically we're just going to take the same old Connie that we had in the last video or the last county video and just see if we can't get this uh get shit done a little bit faster so we're going to grab a bounty and then see what we can get into all right and our first bounty we are on damar we're gonna raise our power to shields or raise my front shield power I'll probably go to 40 percent on that one and uh i'm I did see a couple people say, hey, split up your weapon groups on the two cannons. Um, I'm going to try it out with one with one weapon group first. And um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go two weapon groups. In case, one, in case I get attacked by a hurricane. No, we go. Yeah, we'll go two weapon groups. That way I can poke from a distance with the uh, the M7As and if we get like any hurricanes getting close up. Um, we can uh, pop them with the M6As hopefully. I tried using the gimbals on the on the uh, on the on the size fours, but having the two pips with two fixed and then two gimbals, it's it's confusing as hell. So what do we got? We got a retaliator there. A vanguard. It looks like the vanguard might actually be our bounty. Alright. So, let's piss him off with a couple missiles. Ooh, I didn't raise my missiles. In. There's another ship there. Can I hit him from here? That's a hurricane. We got the bounty. Let's get out of here. Put my shield back down to 25. Actually, we'll raise my shields. Get more shield power to the rear while we're running. I gotta get better on trying to take those out before. Son of a bitch. Before um, um, what was, what was, I lost my train of thought. Uh, I gotta get better at uh, trying to take those ships out before they get close to me, because I think that's the key to this ship: is take your enemies out before they get close. All right, asteroids of yellow. So we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. I turned off couple mode since I'm not in ammo. Hopefully that'll help me from keep uh, keep me from drifting as far as I did in the last video. But I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to do this really fast. Um, I just want to get better at flying. I'm not trying to go for any like speed runs or anything like that. But honestly, I think um, 
a fast either way a fashion panel last time is still an improvement so uh, take a quote out of, out of avenger one's book one percent one percent improvement or whatever the hell he said it's one percent something just give my like i think it's one percent improvement every day something like that Shit does look good, doesn't it? I used to think this thing was ugly, but now it's just growing on me. Alright. Okay. Alright, slow our roll here a little bit. Even even in the in the coupled mode, it's still drifts. I think it's because I'm just going too fast. There we go. Now we're starting to get some. We're gonna put some power in the boosters because we're probably gonna need them. Hopefully, let's prime up our missiles again. See if we can't piss one of these. Okay, there's a hammerhead. All right, figured the hammerhead would be here. I saw two more, two more pings. Where's the other ones? Or should I just bring the hammerhead here? Let's bring the hammerhead here. What else? Oh, we're getting a little. Got another one. Hurricane. Yes. I don't know what happened to my missile there. None, none of my missiles fired. Yeah, I don't know what, what's going on with my missiles now. But I just want to piss them off here a little bit. We're going to start our back grave. I'm going to try... Come to me. Hammerhead's actually fucking getting closer. Is that two fucking hurricanes? All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a different approach here. We're gonna jump the yellow, recharge recharge my shields. I get a little nervous when my shields start going down. I know I can take some abuse in this ship, but again, I'm used to light fighters. Once those shields go down, fuck out. You know, I'm, it's just a habit I have. But people swear on the Connie. I know uh, Subliminal says the Connie's like the best for ERTs if you're not going to be throwing torps. So I think I want to buy a Retaliator, though. I think that might be fun. I want to buy a Retaliator. I want to buy a Vandal Defender. I want to buy a Hurricane. I don't think the Hurricane would be worth it since I don't have anybody else to play with. But, or at least 
I don't have a buddy right now. I'm sure one of you guys would probably hop in and man the gun for the hurricane, or you guys, one of you guys, why and I can man the gun in the hurricane. One of the two, it doesn't matter. But um, I also want to get a razor. They should just try a bunch of different things. not shooting one of my missiles. Just kind of piss them off. I think the distance on the hurricane should have like 5k on it. Or not the hurricane, the, the M7A should be about 5k. Shoot one, see if we can hit him. Just testing things out. Come on, hit him. No, okay. No. Okay, now I'm starting to hit him. Oh, okay, I got him. Cool. Where's the other one? There's the hammerhead. It's not firing missiles. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with my missiles right now. Missiles don't work. Let's try the strike force, dude. Why am I? Close bow shot. Missiles are so freaking glitchy. That's why I don't like using them. Like they're fun and all. Like when they work. Alright, come on, Hurricane. Here, I'll give you two more. Piss you off a little bit more. Why did it do that? That's whatever. And light fighter Connie. Hurricane got on, or the the hammerhead got on me so freaking fast. Oh no, no, it's just the hurricane. All right, let's do some reverse thrust. Let him throw, blow right by. Yeah, light fighter Connie, screw this shit. That's all I know how to fly ships. Must be getting something wrong with with this with the distances on this. Okay. All right. Now let's piss off the hammerhead. I don't know if I like to decouple the and turn it back on. Is there shield holds on the can't Connie again? Because I'm taking like actual hull damage. Come on. Right. 
hammerhead should be down here in a sec. I can actually hit it from here. Oh, you're gonna turn. Shield overheating. Fuck off. Alright, hammerhead down. I really gotta learn how to get rid of those freaking hurricanes when it comes to the to the hammerhead, because that ate up most of my time. Alright, let's go take out the last one. You know, it's it's kind of weird for me, right? Like I with with using the Connie, I feel like I literally have to forget everything I know when it comes to flying to to properly fly this for uh, for doing bounty hunting. And granted, I'm not a good pilot. You know, I my fundamentals are basically non-existent. I just fly around and keep moving. You know, that's pretty much all I do but I'm more comfortable in smaller, faster moving ships than I am in this. So I instinct, instinctively, or instinctively, oh my God, I can't talk. Try to uh, fly it like it's my Vanguard or um, a light fighter or something. That, I think that's gonna be, it'd be an inside joke on the channel at some point. Did you know the Connie's a, a light fighter kind of thing? Cause that's how I fly it. No, if I really wanted to, I probably could detach the Merlin on it, but I don't have, I actually, you know, I should do a video on the Merlin, I throw some uh, different weapons on there. I think that might be fun. Yeah, I think that might be fun. It just sucks because it doesn't have a QT drive. So basically I'd, I'd have to do single bonnies and then try to fucking redock the damn thing. You know, I, I think I'll make that a video though. I'll 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 do like single bounties in the Merlin and see how it does. The Valkyrie. Alright. Now what do we got here? We got two vanguards. Let's just try to take out the Valkyrie. Rise up my shield. Rise raise up my shield from the front again. Probably doing it a little late. Oh crap, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> wow. I went to go mute my microphone. You probably just heard me sneeze and then I muted my microphone. I'm like, what the fuck? So I apologize for that if that uh, if that peaked the audio. Alright, shields are all the way up. Let's piss off the Valkyrie a little bit. And we'll start hitting with size five. I'm not hitting it at all. What's the range on the on the M7 A? I thought I was like 5,700 kilometers. Or 5.7, sorry. Like 5,700 meters. Here you go. Shields down. Okay, that one well. Okay, that, I think that third one went a lot better. Granted, it wasn't against hurricanes and a hammerhead. But that one went better. I want to grab one more. I'm going to just grab a single one. 
but I want to grab one more ERT and see if I can't get a little bit more practice with it. So, I was just thinking, using the Connie, for me, is like the equivalent, if you guys have ever played any of the Souls games, um, it reminds me of using or the equivalent of a strength build in the Souls games. You know, big, slow, heavy hits. And that's what this reminds me of. You know, I got the slow size 5 cannons that hit heavy. I mean, the size 4s hit heavy too, but it's nice, slow. So, it's just a nice comparison for me. I'm a big fan of the Soul series. I've played all of them. Um, started with Dark Souls 3. And I played two after that. That was a mistake. Um, not that Dark Souls 2 sucks. It's just it's so much slower than Dark Souls 3. Um, and then I actually played Bloodborne after that. And I think I played Sekiro uh, when it came out after that. What I can't remember what, what I played after I, I played Bloodborne. Um... I actually think I played, uh... Because I didn't play Dark Souls 1 until Dark Souls Remastered came out. So I can't remember if Sekiro came out before or after that. So it was one of those two, and then I obviously played Sekiro. And, uh... And I platinumed Elden Ring. I've also platinumed, uh, Sekiro as well. Or 100% it. Or... So, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the Soul series, so I, that's a nice comparison for me. Like the equivalent of using a strength build, and then the light fighters are the equivalent of using a dex build. Um, I could I could draw a lot of connections to be honest. Alright, so what do we got here? I know that is the hammerhead. Single ear keys almost 100% have a hammerhead. I guarantee you there's going to be a, a, a hurricane somewhere around here. Oh wait, no, hold on. Before I get closer, raise those shields back up. Now, I haven't repaired. I haven't um, restocked or anything. I basically came straight from the group ERT to the single one. Uh, let's see if we can not piss off the Valkyrie here a little bit. I think I missed. Oh yeah, I missed. Come back. Missiles are so inconsistent and they don't fucking reload correctly. It's annoying. Oh, one of them hit. I see the hammerhead. I'm gonna start peppering it from here. There's another one. Oh, that's somebody else. That's a friendly Titan up there, and he's probably up there saying, Holy fuck, there's a hammerhead above me. I got you, homie. We'll take out the hammerhead first for ya. I think I'm getting better though. Shit. 
done deal. Alright, I want to see... Before we wrap up, I want to see where uh, Mr. Titan went. I don't know if I flew over him yet or not. I just want to make sure he's alright. Titan's gone. Alright. Turret are no go. No. I just wanted to make sure he was alright. But Titan team gone, so we'll just get out of here. I think I'm getting better. I still got to work on not flying it like a light fighter, but I honestly don't think I'd ever going to completely kick that uh, that habit. I think those last two bounties I did, or those last two targets I did, were better than the first two. Uh, the third one, I was able to take out those wardens without them really getting behind me. Um, this last one, I did end up getting the Valkyrie, kind of getting me into a pitch battle, which kind of negated the purpose but i think i'm getting better because i didn't let the valkyrie get behind me which i think is a good thing because when i when they get behind me i tend to fly it like a light fighter and try to maneuver it so um i think i'm getting better because a lot of you guys love the connie oh and i can understand why but um but yeah uh more practice I should be able to start wiping ERTs down pretty quick. So, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright? Have a good one.